Welcome back on Denmark. Today I want to propose you a video about how to monetize Crypt Horror, Crypt Friars, uh, Vargas, and Crypt Hunter Courtier and Crypt Infernal Courtier based on what you need for your army of uh, Flash Eater Courts. And I want to remember you that this box lets you represent also the Valgeist that you can take from the Legends of Nagash Batatom. So you have also this added to the option that you can represent with such a box. This is a video that I had the, a lot of requests about because it's a type of monetizing that can be really quite interesting because it has a particularity. All these units come from a singular box here. So it can be quite interesting to understand how to maximize the usage of such box to have all the options that you can need based on what you need because usually in the army of the flesh eater course you can summon a lot of different units all together so you can without buying a lot of models about such ones to realize your own ones and so in such a way you can have what you need in the moment that the need arise. In this video I make you see the principal points that you can use to monetize and realize the differences that you can have. So then you can add other monetizations. I want to remember you that I chosen such monetizing in such a way, but there is other options. Simply I didn't want to press too much monets on these models because they were quite heavy the monetizing inside. But in a way, you can also add others monetizing or change some reasoning about how to monetize it. It's a base to understand where you can put as base the monets to put on such models. So now we can begin. I can say that we can start from the easiest monetizing that we can have and it's monetizing the head itself. To do such a thing, we have to use two different type of magnets. The first is a 2 for 2 mm one cylinder type that it has to go to the neck of the model itself so that you can have a quite strong magnet as base. And the second one is a 2 for 1 mm with the 2 as the diameter and 1 as the deep in the way that you can hold the head with this shorter one and put the manet inside. Remember the vessels of the manet that you have to maintain on all the heads for such miniatures. But it's quite important to remember that you have to use a shorter manet for the head because otherwise you risk to drill too much deep inside and ruin the heads themselves. So to prevent such a thing, I decided to use a bigger and more strong, a stronger manet inside the neck of the model and a weaker, little weaker, one in the head. But in a way, it perfectly maintain the monetizing. You only have to pay attention when you put the manets in the way that they can have a contact when they put together so that you don't put too deep inside the manet or inside the neck or inside the head itself. Simply they have to be on the surface plane of the models themselves in the way that they can, you can monetize at the max the possibility to have the manet force together. Simply it. And now we can start talking about the most difficult part about this model to monetize and it's monetizing the back. I decided to monetize the back because it changes in the case that you want to use, for example, the Vargas type of model, the Crypt Flyer one or the Crypt Hunter. So the backs are different. So I decided to realize the back for the Crypt Hunters and the one for the Crypt Flyers in two different ways. As you can see, I decided to glue directly, but I explained a bit later the modification that I done about the arms themselves to the backs themselves, because I didn't want to put the manets also on the sides in the way to keep the arms themselves on the model. 
but this is about the back so i'm talking about the back and each model use different magnets except one thing that is the magnet that go on the front part of the model itself that it's the one that has to keep the mass part of the weight of the back itself as magnet and as weight so i decided to put for such for all the models a 5 for 5 millimeter cubic one so it's a particular type of magnet that i decided to use for such model instead in this case about the manex themselves for such model i decided to use as the back in the case of the clip hunter version a 5 for 1 millimeter one and instead about the other one the one on the back of the clip fryer one a 5 for 2 millimeter one as back if you have problems in put them together the manex I want to remember you that you can use a simple trick. Use the magnets of the 2 for 2 mm one and the 2 for 1 mm one to have a sort of uh, distancer between each other in the way that you can control the positioning of the magnets on the back so that it can gain more weight itself. And so this is the first one. About the second model for the frontal part, I decided to use as usual a cubic five millimeter one instead for the backs i changed my way to approach and it's using four millimeter as the armor one and two millimeter deep ones both the backs in this way so that i could put them inside the real problem was the shape of the backs so the five millimeter ones was not so good to put inside and it was better and easier to put in on position the 4 millimeter, millimeter one and anyway the magnetized force was quite good to put on that so it was good in such a way about the third model the trick is how to position in the cubic magnet on the model itself because it's not in the center of the back itself it's a little angular so you had to pay a bit of attention in positioning it so the trick about using the distances can be really quite useful in such case about the backs instead i used again five millimeter diameter ones and two as deep the magnets and they are perfect to have such type of backs on the model itself you have only to take note about the positioning of the magnet on the frontal part of the model to keep them in a good way about the arms i was talking about a little trick to use to put them together because i cut a little bit of the arms because in the frontal part there is a muscle that otherwise could ancorate the arms from the side to end the front so to prevent such a thing i decided to cut the frontal parts and painting is not seen such a thing because it's not appreciable so it's completely safe to do such type of little change of the model but anyway in such a way i realized such modifying so that i can take off and put on putting the arms to the relative backs so it's better in my opinion in such case so i done such a thing for almost all the arms that you have seen in such a video and i don't know if you have seen it because i don't think that it's appreciable but anyway it's a little thing that can help you quite a lot to use such trick for the arms themselves there is also another way to monetize the back itself and it's because uh, if you see the spoon and size you can see that the backs uh, it's splitted in two different parts so if you want uh, you can uh, monetize the part that you can see about having the sides for the putting the arms on so that uh, you can put the magnets there and have so the magnets uh, inside the back itself and on the arms itself simply when i decided to analyze the way to have this magnetization 
it was a good way in the way to have in the case about the crypt flyers one less piece busy because uh, it uh, quite uh, have a lot of space occupied by the wings themselves but uh, what it was the problem it was that the monetizing was not so good in my opinion as uh, a strength uh, to have it on because the positioning of where to put the manets was quite delicate moreover the part about the arms were quite heavy so the manets that, that had been put there would have been 3 mm as diameter to have a bit of strength to put on and I didn't find it quite good for such models I didn't find it quite good but anyway you can use such way you have only to pay a lot of attention when you drill in the back because about the part about the arms themselves you have quite a lot of space to put the magnets on only simply put i suggest you magnets that are simply one millimeter deep because the two millimeter one risk to ruin the muscle because it, they risk to exit from the muscle themselves you are quite a lot at limit if you decide to use the two millimeter one as deep but anyway i suggest you to use three millimeter ones you can try to use the two millimeter for two millimeter or two millimeter for one but sincerely i don't think that they can sustain the weight of such arms because they are quite heavy and the anchorage it's not so useful in my opinion to put on but anyway it's also an option eventually about the base i decided to monetize it so i decided to put the same trick that i done in the video about the viking on foot you can find the video in the description so i put a manet under the base i create use a roller pin a particular base roller pin and little stuff and so i decided to personalize in such way my model in a way you can use as another trick the drilling inside the model on the foot because it keep the model itself on and put the money inside it and another on the base where you drill so you have also such alternative if you want you have both options that you can use you can choose which one you prefer anyway remember that about such monetizing you can adapt quite a lot for example for the back you can feel the backs themselves in the way that you have better control about where to position in the magnets if you want you can use green stuff mainly put other things and then positioning the magnets quite easier so it's up to you decide how to realize i used such method because i preferred such but there are a lot of different ways it's another trick that you can use on such one for example this video let you understand that this is the basis because i usually play the flesh eater curves using such type of models i decided to use a different type of monetizing as you have seen if you go to see the official images about the different models it's perfect to represent the crypt hunter courtiers the cryptoros the vargeist and it's not perfect to suit the crypt infernal courtiers and the crypt flyers but in my situation because usually I don't play the Vargas, but anyway, moreover, now that we have a splitting between the Flesh Eater Kurtz and the Legends of Nagash Battleton, where there are the Vargas themselves, there is no problem about having the association between each other, so you can't confuse them. And this is my way to decide to use such different ways to monetize. But in a way, it can be really quite interesting. The difference, uh, moreover, between the flyers and the Varghist is the back. In fact, the flyers has the same back as the Horus with the wings of the Varghist. Instead, the Varghist has the back that they chosen. But in a way, I don't find it uh, quite messy because uh, I think that it's quite understandable on the field which one are the other ones. The only problem that you could have is how to represent the Crypt Infernal Courtier. But also here you can simply change the head itself. So it's not a problem anyway. For example, you can use the head about the Crypt Infernal Courtier or 
I had about the ogres, for example, to have a bit different ones, because otherwise the difference between a Crypt Infernal Courtier and a Crypt Friar is not so big and you risk anyway to make a misunderstanding if they are together. So anyway, it's quite simple to solve such eventual problem. So, from Dino Mode, it's everything. I invite you to put a like on this video, to subscribe to the channel, to ring the bell and to comment this video if you are interested in something about this video or you want to suggest me some arguments for other videos. I hope to see you again, to the next time!